Hi everyone, today I'm going to be playing Rolling America, which is a great little dice-based filler game. It's one of the games that I picked up from my US visit. I'm sure I'll be showcasing the, the bigger games that I got there soon enough, but while I'm recovering, I think I'll just start small. And what better theme than Rolling America? So in this game, we have a map of the US with all of the states on it, and we have a bag of dice that comes with it. On your turn, in a round, and you can imagine this, I'm going to be playing it solo here, you can imagine that it's a, any number of players game, it goes, it's, you'll see there's no limit on the box there, it's just one plus players, because the different players have no effect on what's happening to you at all. On your turn, the, well the person who is the start player for that round, will draw two dice from the bag, there's seven dice in here, and they will roll those dice, so I'll start that as part of my first turn, so let's just roll those up here. And I have rolled a six and a five. And that now means that somewhere in the blue states, I need to write a six. Somewhere in the purple states, I need to write a five. And it sounds simple, but as the game goes on, when you are writing numbers in and you already have a number there, numbers that go next to each other can only differ by one. So if I put the five, the six here, say, I'm going to have to put only fives surrounding it, fives or sixes surrounding it. To help you out, you have three different powers that can be used three times per game, and then that's it. You can color change, so I could, if I really wanted this to be a six orange, I could change it with a color change, cross that out, and write it somewhere in the orange states. I can guard, and if I guard, I would write six in one of the blue states, and then I would put a circle around it, and that basically means that the normal placement rules of the numbers can only differ by one. Those rules just don't apply for guarded states. I can also dupe, so if I really like blue six, I could write it twice on blue. And those are the various powers. You don't get any extra points for saving them until the end of the game, so you might as well use them. But if there is a tie, then the person who used the fewest will break that tie. And your score in the game is the number of X's, and X's are the blank spaces that are left at the end. And at the beginning, this seems like it will be quite an easy task, but towards the end of the game, the, as the map is filled, it gets really hard to place things. So let's get started. I have six on the blue and five on the purple. I think I will place, I'll place the five on the purple there, and then let's place the six here. Maybe we can get a nice area of high numbers going over here. Let's draw two more out of the back. And I have two orange, four green. So let's put the orange here, there, and let's put the let's put the four green there. We should be able to put a lot of numbers around a four, but that is that's just being confident at the beginning, I think. Then let's grab the last two dice of this round, and I have a three yellow and a four red. Okay, so I can place the four red here and hopefully I'll get a five later to place next to that six. The three on the yellow can just go here next to this green. So that's worked out very nicely. I haven't used a power yet. They're all available to me. And now we cross off round one. There is only one dice left in the bag and that's how you know it's the end of the round. You grab all of the dice that have been used, put them back in the bag, and now we just start round two. And the game just continues like this. Okay, so round two, let's get started. I have green and yellow six and a four. So four in yellow is okay, that can go there. And six, maybe we'll put that, maybe we'll put that up here off. And hopefully we can get some fives and sixes to connect to that. Next we have purple and red, and that's a three and a four. Okay, well, I can place a purple four right there, and I can put the three red right next to it. That's worked out really nicely. Still no powers used, although I could dupe something now. Maybe I want to do that. I think I'm going to use a dupe, and let's put another red three down. There we go. So I've just duplicated it. And next, oh, no wild dice this round. I have three blue and five orange. Well, five orange will have to go. Maybe we'll put it, we'll put it away. Maybe we want low numbers in orange. Now we've got a two there. And three in the blue... Hmm, that's not good at all. I think let's place, let's just place it here. 
and guard it so that we can ignore rules for that one because I don't think that's a very good number to come up up there. That's round two over. Now we can place these in the bag with the wild die. Give them a little shake and start round three. Okay, I have a one and a four. So the four can still go here and that's okay. So we need a five there to connect that to the six. And then a one anywhere. Hmm. Let's see. We could place we could place a one there. And then maybe we could come down in numbers here. And that would be okay. Let's let's just hope. Did I want to dupe anything there? I could dupe the four. That might be a good thing to do. No, let's leave it for now. Okay, I have a five orange and a two yellow. So the two yellow can't go there because it can't be next to the four. It's, it would be nice to be next to the three, but it can't be next to the four. So I think two might be nice. There we go. And then five in the orange. Let's, let's just put it in, the, in Alaska. And then we have red and purple again. And not as nice, but five on the purple is nice. And I think I'm going to use a colour change, actually, because five isn't great for what we've got going. Six isn't great. Five would be really nice. But I'm going to put the six up here in purple. I could have duped the five. Maybe I should dupe the five. Yeah, let's dupe the five as well. So we've colour changed the six and duped the five. And we are really filling up purple. Which sounds great now, but later on we might regret doing that. So let's fill this back up. And this is round four. And in a multiplayer game, everyone's doing this at the same time. And everyone takes a completely different path usually, unless someone's just copying exactly what someone else does. Although that would be silly. Everyone's taking a completely different path and you can see how what's terrible for you is usually great for someone else. Okay, I have a two on the orange, that's quite nice. Orange is looking quite empty really, isn't it? So two, let's put that there. And a four on the blue. Hmm. Let's place that up here and hope for a five later on. Next, we've got... Okay, we've got four anywhere and a one on the red. So I can put the one down there and it's next to that two now. That's quite nice. And then a four. Hmm. Well, a four can go up in purple, although it's looking very full in purple. And there are, there are four more rounds and it could potentially come out in this round. There's not going to be much space in purple. Let's see, where will four go? We could put four up here and just hope for some threes surrounding it because of those twos. And last, yes, here's purple. And we have rolled a three on purple and a two in yellow. Well, the two in yellow can quite nicely go down there. The three in purple, though, is going to have to go up here. And these are both going to have to be fours or nothing can be placed. No, oh, I think, are we focused? I think something went wrong there. It's probably my hand going in the way to right. Okay. So that was round four. We are halfway through now. It's looking quite nice over this side, but it's a little bit random everywhere else. So let's go for round five, shake the bag up again, and we roll. I can only grab one. There we go. Okay, six anywhere, and three on the red. Three on the red is okay. Let's see, three on the red could go there. Six anywhere. Hmm. Six anywhere. We could just place next to this blue. Yes, I think that's okay. Nothing fantastic there that I'd want to duplicate, but we're okay. Let's see, six in purple is not good. Six can six can only go there, but that would mean that could never be filled unless I guarded something. But let's let's do it. Six right there. And then a three on the blues is bad okay so i either color change it and i could color change it let's color change it because i would like a three to go here in the yellows so this is all nicely linked up so that's not as bad as i thought i thought i was gonna have to guard something again and guards are nice to save until you're really stuck for placement later on 
Let's see, six on the orange is not nice. Three on the green is okay. Let's put the three over there. Six cannot be placed in orange. Is there somewhere else we'd like it? Not really. I think we're gonna have to guard. Yep. So I'm gonna guard a six orange and let's place it there. And that is round five. So the powers are starting to run out. I've only got one of each power left over and I still have three rounds to go. So there might be a lot of spaces being crossed out because if you can't place something, then you cross it out. If you can place anywhere, I should say, you have to place there. You can't just choose to put a cross somewhere just because the number you're putting there would block you off like I had to here. I had to put the six down there and it's blocked off this space unless I guard it. So let's see, a six anywhere and a three in the blues again, oh dear. Okay, well a three cannot go in the blues, so I either need to use a power again or I can place, I can place nothing because I can't legally place anything. So I could just put a cross down there, which I might do. Six isn't great for anywhere else though either. So I can put a six there in the blues and then I'm gonna have to accept a cross space, I think. Unless I, unless I use a power to put it somewhere else. I don't think a three is great anywhere else. I could color, yes, let's put it down here. I'll color change it and let's make it orange. There we go. So that is all of the color changes now though. Let's see what we've got here. A four that would have been per perfect in the purples, but I could guard and finish on my purples. Six in red is terrible. Hmm, now, let's see, I can't place either of these things. So I can guard one and the other one will just have to be crossed out. I could just place, see, am I gonna cut off the, I need a red two there, a red four there, and a red five there. Which am I gonna cut off? Let's, let's cut that off. And let's place the six here and guard it. And when you can't place something, as I said, you need to place a cross down there. So purple, I've just got no opportunities. So I would like it to stay in the bag really, but it's not going to, let's face it. So now I have a one on the orange, which is no good. And I have four here, which is no good either. Nope, and duplication is not gonna help me. So now we see the spaces really start to fill up. Okay, and that was round six. So back into the bag. Just two rounds left, although with only duplication, I should probably have used that somewhere earlier. Let's see, six in orange I know is no good. Two in green is also no good. Oh dear, so that's my last orange space gone, and that is another green space. Although that one I couldn't do anyway. I can't link a three to a six, so I might as well block that one off. Next we have red and yellow. Let's see, the yellow two is, oh, that would be perfect there, but the four is cutting it off. Oh no. Okay. So I can only place a three there. Let's see, the two in the reds is okay though. The two in the red can go there. But I'm gonna have to cut off a space here. If I cut that off, then nothing can go there. Let's cut that off and maybe I can put a three here. I can, no, I can't put a three there because of the one. Oh no. Would I be able to place another two on the reds? No, I need a three on the reds. Okay, this is getting very, very tight. Okay, two in the purple, I have no space in the purples. Okay, I don't need to place a cross because purple is full. And I can place a five anywhere, that's that's okay. I need fives everywhere, let's place a five there. That would be okay, four, five, six. Blue has, seems to have stayed in the bag quite a lot. And we are in the very last round, so I'll be placing six more numbers and nothing else. Let's see, oh, I don't know why I just grabbed a lot of dice out of the bag. Let's see. 
we have one blue, that is no good, and three orange. Orange is filled though, so I can't place another cross. Let's just put a cross there. Okay, what's next? I need a four on the reds, I think. I don't know what on the yellows. Let's see, four on green doesn't help. Can't do anything with that. I should have duped that five. It's too late now, but just for everyone's reference, it would make sense to dupe that five that I placed because then it could have actually, I need fives everywhere in the blues. So I can't place anything in the fours, so something's gonna have to be cut off. And a two anywhere. Oh, I can't, I could only, I could place a three there. I can't place a two there. I can't place a two anywhere, I don't think. That's a shame, but I don't have to put a cross for a wild dice. And the last placements, two on the red. That's a shame. One on the purple. I can't place anything more. So let's just fill up this and let's see how many crosses I end up with. So anything that was left blank at the end gets filled with a cross. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh dear. This is worse than I think this is my worst try yet. It, it seems so good at the start, but it all went terribly wrong. Although I should have 12. If I'd remembered to dupe that five, I'd have 12, which is my current worst score before this game. But that is Rolling America. I hope that gives you a good idea of how it's played. Uh, it's a great little filler game. It's very fast, very easy to explain, and it's always a fun but infuriating little puzzle as your best laid plans just get thrown away as the dice never go your way. But I think that's all from me, so I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I will see you for another game on Sunday. Bye, everyone.